Uh, well, let me ask you then in the space of geometry. I don't know how well you know Eric Weinstein. Oh, but quite well, yeah. What are your thoughts about his geometric unity and the space of ideas that he's playing with on uh, in his proposal for a theory of everything? Well, I, I think he, that he has, he, he fundamentally has, I think, the same problems that everybody has had trying to do this. And, you know, they're various, they're, they're really versions of the same problem that you try to, um, you try to get unity by put, putting everything into some bigger structure. So he's, has 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 some other ones that that he that are not so conventional that he's trying to work with, but um, he has the, he has the same problem that even if he can if he can get a lot farther in terms of having a, a really well defined, well understood, clear picture of this these large these things he's working with, they're really kind of large geometrical structures with many dimensions, many kinds, and I just don't see any way. He's going to have the same problem the string theorists have. How do you get back down to the structures of the standard model, and how do you, um, yeah? So, so I, I just anyway, I, I, it's the same. And, the, and there's um, another interesting example of a sum, similar kind of thing is um, Garrett Lisi's theory of everything. Again, you know, he's there. It's a little bit more specific than Eric's. He's working with this E8, but it um. Again, it, it, I think all these things founder at the same point that you don't, you know, you create this unity, but then you have no, you don't actually have a good idea how you're going to get back to the to the actual you know, to, to the to the objects we've seen. How are you going to you create these big symmetries? How are you going to break them? And 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 because because we don't see those symmetries in in the real world. And um, so ultimately, there would need to be a a simple process. For collapsing it to four dimensions, you'd have to explain. It. Well, yeah, in, in his, I forget in, in his case, but it, it's not just four dimensions. It's also these um, these structures you see in the standard model. There's a you know there's certain very small dimensional groups of symmetries, so called U one, SU two, and SU three. And the problem with and this has been the problem since the beginning. Almost immediately after 1973, about a year later, two years later, people started talking about grand unified theories. So you take the U1, the SU2, and the SU3, and you put them in together into this bigger structure called the SU5 or SO10. But then you're stuck with this problem that, wait a minute, now how, why does the world not look, why do I not see the, the, these SU5 symmetries in the world? I only see these. And so, and and, and I think, you know, th those ideas, the kind of thing that, that, that Eric and also in Garrett and lots of people try to do, they all kind of founder in that same, they, they, in, in that same way that they don't have they don't have a good answer to that. Are there lessons, ideas to be learned from theories like that, from Gary Lisi's, from Eric's? Um, I don't know. It depends. I have to confess, I haven't looked that closely at a, at a, at at Eric's. I mean, he explained to this to me uh, personally a, a few times, and I've looked a bit at his paper. But it's um uh, again, we're, we're we're back to the problem of a limited amount of time in life. And, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting effect, right? Why don't more physicists look at it? There, I mean, I I'm I'm in this position that somehow, you know, uh, I've I've uh, people write me emails for whatever reason, <laughs> and I work in the space of AI, and this, so there's a lot of people. Perhaps AI is even way more accessible than physics in a certain sense. And so a lot of people write to me with different theories about what they have for how to create uh, general intelligence. And it's, again, a little bit of an excuse I say to myself, like, well, I only have a limited amount of time, so that's why I'm not investigating it. But I wonder if um, there's ideas out there that are still powerful, that are still fascinating, and that I'm missing because I'm, because I'm dismissing them because they're uh, outside of the sort of the usual process of uh, academic research. Yeah, well, I mean, I have the, the same thing. Pretty much every day in my email, there's a somebody's got a theory of everything about why all of what physicists are doing. I, I, perhaps the most disturbing thing I should say about my uh, 
critique being a critic of string theory is is that when you realize who your fans are um that they <laughs> every day i hear from somebody who says oh well since you don't like string theory you must of course agree with me that this is the right way to think about everything and, oh no oh no <laughs> and you know most of these are you know you quickly can see this is person doesn't much, know very much and doesn't know what they're doing you know but there's a whole continuum to you know people who are quite serious physicists and mathematicians who are making a fairly serious attempt to try to to do something and like 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 Garrett and uh, and Eric and then then your your problem is you know you spent you you do so want to try to spend more time looking at it and try to figure out what they're really doing and but that at some point you just realize, wait a minute, you know, for me to really, really understand exactly what's going on here would just take time I just don't have. Yeah, it takes a long time, which is the nice thing about AI yeah. is uh, unlike the kind of physics we're talking about, if your idea is good, that should quite naturally lead to you being able to build a system that's intelligent. So you don't need to get approval from say, somebody that's saying you have a good idea here. You can just utilize that idea and engineer a system, Industry. like naturally leads to engineering. With physics here, if you have a, a perfect theory that explains everything, that still doesn't obviously lead one to, um, to, to scientific experiments that can validate that theory, and two to like uh, trinkets you can build and sell right, right, yeah, in, yeah, at, yeah. at a store yeah, for $5. Yeah, you can't make money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that makes it much, much more challenging. 